However, the Duke will die before these eyes, and he'll know, he'll know that it is I, Dan Vladimir Harkonnen, who encompasses his doom. <laughs> I think Dune was a victim of the expectations. Um, people really wanted, you know, I, I, commercially they expected a big blockbuster. Uh, it was, it was just too strange, I think. It was too unconventional. Uh, I mean, there's some very kinky stuff in it. The great thing against Dune was that, that there was no humor in it. I can't remember even smiling once, and it, need, it needed humour, and there wasn't any at all. There was a big backlash against it. You know, there was, a lot of, <clears throat> there was a lot of publicity about the movie before it opened, how it was going over budget, how they were having all sorts of problems in Mexico while they were making it, and potential clashes between Lynch and Dino De Laurentiis, and the media kind of fed off that. So I think there was a certain amount of, you know, people smelled blood, you know, uh, in the air, and there was a certain ganging up on the movie when it opened. None of the critics, with the exception of David Anson and myself, of course I was not a major critic, but uh, my stuff got around, uh, gave it a good review. It was almost universally panned. I never read the reviews of the movies because even the good one makes you crazy. You know, it's just like... You spend so much time on a movie and your intentions are such that, you know, it's so easy to sit down and tear at four years of your life. So I just don't read them anymore. Critics think nothing will ever make a good film, except a good film. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing to say, but I ignore critics completely. My review was one of the only positive reviews that came out. Um, which I do not apologize for, and I would write the same review today, I think. Um, but I do feel that a lot of my colleagues kind of jumped on the bandwagon uh, with undue viciousness. You know, I love the film. I was surprised people didn't enjoy it more. I, I really was. I, I thought it would, it would find a bigger audience than it did. I, I'm afraid it wasn't perhaps promoted as well as it could have been. I don't know that the studio really supported it. Um, it's that's an unfortunate thing because I think it's a very it's a very beautiful movie. I'll miss the sea, but a person needs new experiences. They jar something deep inside, allowing him to grow. Most of what Universal did, in my view, in my view, is indefensible. They had no faith in the film. They had no chutzpah, they had no balls, they had no, no courage. You know, a lot of people blame Universal, the way they released it for the movie not being as successful as it should have been. I think the movie was challenging, you know, it was maybe too intellectual and too um, difficult in many, it was not your obvious popcorn movie, but I think the book was that way and I think that, you know, being faithful to the book, which is what we tried to do, turned out a movie that was difficult. But the people that love it, love it. The choice of director for a film is always, um, it's an unusual process. I don't know that there's any, any best director for a film. I mean, I think David was a wonderful choice for this one. I think sometimes when the studio is looking for the broadest possible audience, they choose the safest possible director, and to their credit, they supported David in, in going out on a limb and, and, and choosing someone who may not have been the first choice for this kind of film, but, but the vision he brought to it is so spectacular. You'd think that, that Lynch would have at least gotten the benefit of the doubt for trying something a little bit different and more original and, and very personal. Um, not a total success, obviously. Um, but, you know, these are the same critics who are always complaining about how formulaic Hollywood movies are, and then when something not formulaic comes along, they, they jump on the bandwagon and uh, sort of kick it while it's down. I think Dune turned him off making big budget movies because, in a way, you give up your freedom, you know, for creative freedom when there's so much 
pressure on you because of the budget, the time. And he, has n and he said to me when he finished that he never wanted to do another big movie again, and he never has. He's always done smaller movie that he can control, and I think he's been really happy doing that. He's found, you know, his niche, the thing he loves doing.